Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So in our previous videos, we explored all the possible storylines that we could see from the characters we saw in the Chapter 2 trailer. But now that we're done with the character concepts for that Chapter 2 trailer, we're going to be returning to the original idea of making our own custom toy characters and giving them their own backstory. And for the character concept for this video, we'll be looking at the Troll Dolls. So we'll go into this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. And as always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. This is just a fun, creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you updated with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character concept of the Troll Dolls. So far in our character concept series, our protagonist has faced a whole bunch of frightening toy characters. They've done their best to survive and outsmart these twisted creatures. And as they've travelled through the Playtime Co. factory, they've found themselves in a number of interesting areas and facilities. After exploring around, they've come across the fabrics and fur section of the factory. This was the part of the factory that manufactured all the synthetic fibres and fur for Huggy and Kissy's soft fluffy bodies. All throughout were large machines that spun all the fibres and sewed their bodies together. But Huggy and Kissy weren't the only toys that were given soft material fibres. This section of the factory also designed long plastic hair fibres for their other toys. And these toys were the Playtime Co. Troll Dolls. These were the Playtime Co. version of the famous hairstyling Troll Dolls. They were famous for their funny shaped bodies and faces, but they were mostly famous for their long wacky hair that children could style and shape however they wanted. These Troll Dolls were quite popular back in the day. They made a good number of sales and stayed in stores for quite a while. But eventually, like most of the other toys, they were discontinued and left to be a distant memory of the past. But like the rest of the forgotten toys, there was bound to be a few of them lurking around the Playtime Co. factory. Waiting eagerly to meet our protagonist. So as we return back to our protagonist, they started making their way through the factory. They needed to find a way out of this area and hopefully find what they're looking for. As they look around, they see off in the distance, beyond all the machinery, a small room. Maybe there was something in there that could help them get through this new area. As they make their way over to the room, the player needs to navigate through a number of obstacles and puzzles. There would be certain doorways that they would need to use their grab pack hands to activate and to different machines that they would need to deactivate so they could make their way through. They finally make it towards the room. The sign at the front of the room reads, Grab Tech Department. Perhaps there could be something useful in there. So they enter through and look around. After searching around, they come across something quite interesting. It was a brand new grab hand. This one was orange. It was behind a glass case that had a fire hazard symbol on it. It looked like they needed a certain keycard to access it. So they moved on in search of this keycard. This new grab pack hand could definitely come in handy going forward. As they exit this room, they come into the second half of the fiber and fabric section. But this place looked different. From the ceiling, multiple strands of blue hair dangled down. And in front of them was a doorway that was tangled up in thick blue hair. They didn't have anything sharp to cut through at all. And even if they did, it would take a long time to cut through. Maybe the orange grab hand would be able to help them out. Just as they turn back around to find this keycard, a strand of blue hair grabs them. They turn around and see a strange little creature grabbing onto them with its wild hair. It was a troll doll. They remembered these toys. But this little creature was nothing like the old toy they used to know. They had wild blue hair, a red Playtime Co. t-shirt, and a mouth filled with pointy sharp teeth. 
The creature draws in the player as the blue hair pulls them closer and closer. The player had to do their best to shake themselves free. As they try to, another strand of hair grabs them from a different direction. It seems that there were multiple of these little creatures. The player notices that one of them has a keycard tied around their neck. They need to shake free and grab that card. With all their might, they shake themselves free and try to grab the keycard. The player needs to dodge the strands of hair that are flying towards them and quickly grab the keycard. The player quickly extends their grab hand and rips the keycard off their neck. The player quickly heads back into the room before any other trolls show up. Once back inside, they use the keycard and unlock the case. Finally, they see what this new grab hand could do. As they go to activate it, the hand flips back and a nozzle extends out. Out of the nozzle sprays a hot stream of fire. This could definitely come in handy. They could use the flame hand to defend themselves against the trolls and also burn the hair that's blocking the exit. They enter the second area again and prepare to face off against the trolls. The first one jumps out at the player as they spray them with a stream of fire. Their hair sets on fire as they scurry away and retreat. The player makes their way to the exit as they flame each and every troll they come across. They couldn't let these terrible little creatures get a hold of them or stop them from getting to the door. After taking on a number of troll dolls, they finally reach the door. They spray it with a stream of fire as the hair sizzles and burns. Whilst the hair burns away, the player defends themselves against the last remaining troll dolls. Eventually, the door is free to open and the player quickly exits. Finally, they escape from these terrible little creatures. Hopefully, this was the last they seen of them. And with this new hand of theirs, they were confident they could take on whatever was coming next. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of the troll dolls, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.